Life is beautiful, but sometimes it just takes a little change in perspective to really see it. That's exactly what it means to romanticize our lives. It's not curating our lives to look perfect from the outside or being in denial with reality, but to put a beautiful spin on how we approach our day to day. It means to be grateful for everything that we have and to acknowledge the smallest little details that often go unnoticed. It's not just to seek all that is beautiful, but to embrace everything life has to offer, the good and the bad, and the turbulent roller coaster in between that make life such an intriguing journey. The Stoics said, your thoughts, beliefs, and your values all influence how you see what's in front of you. And this to me is what it really means to romanticize my life. Seeing the world with this outlook made me fall in love with life all over again. Oscar Wilde once said, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. When I read this, I had to examine my own life and ask myself if I was just existing or living. Existing means to go through life without being conscious of who we are, surviving the day to day. But living is actively participating, being fully aware and being present for the experience. I'm learning slowly that living takes a lot more effort. Sometimes it requires us to get our hands dirty, to really go for the things that we want. It requires us to give love and attention to every aspect of our lives. It's learning what we need and want out of life and savoring every little joyful moment along the way. It is up to us to define how we want to live our lives and it might take a lifetime to figure it out, but at least this way, we can fully immerse ourselves into our own stories and know what it means to have a purpose rather than to simply exist. Falling in love with life is all about enjoying ourselves and we can achieve this even with the simplest little pleasures. I love waking up to see the little roots on my propagated plants, seeing the birds play outside of my window, treating myself to my favorite fruits and my morning yogurt. To you, this might not seem like a big deal, but this is a part of my routine I look forward to every single day. And in a way, it gives me a reason to wake up in the mornings. I'm learning that I don't have to seek out over the top experiences to feel happy or excited because even the quiet and mundane moments can offer extraordinary experiences. They are the most unassuming moments we commonly take for granted, but we forget that these moments are what make life beautiful. Whether it's using your favorite pen during your workday, or taking a 15 minute walk during your lunch break, listening to your favorite podcast on your commute to work, find your simple pleasures and sprinkle them throughout your day to create a life that you love and cherish. Some things are unenjoyable no matter how hard we try, but we still need to get it done. When I have a deadline, a difficult email to write, or a project that I need to finish, I try to make it into a challenge and reward myself for getting it done. How many emails can I reply back to in 20 minutes? Can I squeeze a quick workout session before lunch? By making these mundane tasks into a game where I'm challenging myself, it becomes much more motivating and rewarding to get things done. Not only that, I think it helps me to not take things too seriously because life is not just a long list of to-dos. Yes, we have responsibilities and things need to get done, but I think it's a good reminder to have a little bit of fun in the process as well. When you are the main character of your own life, you are not the victim, you are the hero. You prioritize yourself above everything else because you know your self-worth. You develop a relationship with yourself and learn to live an authentic life that is uniquely yours. Of course, this is not an excuse to be self-centered or treat others as insignificant, but the point is to gain a new outlook on life from a first-person perspective. Most of my life, I felt like I was in the background, living to please everyone else around me. 
doing things out of obligation instead of intention. But as the main character, I feel like I can finally create a life according to my own terms. I no longer feel the need to keep up with anyone else because I know that everyone's story is unique. So try to be the main character of your own story and pretend that the world is your stage. Show up for yourself, develop your character, and know that you are in the driver's seat of your own life. We all know that the past holds a lot of wisdom. So instead of dwelling on our past mistakes, regrets, and guilt, what if we decided to embrace them instead and see these moments as many episodes of self-growth? I don't know about you, but I have made too many mistakes to even count. But now I'm so proud to look back and see that I even had the courage to try new things, go out of my comfort zone, to challenge myself. Like with anything, it's difficult to see in the moment, but I now know that without these experiences, there would be no depth to my life, and I definitely wouldn't be the person that I am today. Sometimes I'm so reluctant to say what I want, do what I want, because I'm so afraid of making a fool out of myself. But now I try to remember that the bigger the mistake, the bigger the lesson, and this has given me the courage to say yes to things I usually say no to. When was the last time you celebrated because it was a Tuesday? Turned on your favorite candle just because? Cooked a nice meal for yourself and the person that you love for no particular reason? Instead of holding off until the weekend or a special occasion to do something special, I think it's important to make every single day count. With this mindset, we create more opportunities to do the things that make us happy. So don't hold off on saying I love you to the people that you love. Don't hold yourself back from going after what you want. Don't wait for the right moment to launch your art. Know that the only moment that matters is the present moment, so make it count. I'm not saying that we should expect life to be a fairy tale, and there are things we definitely shouldn't romanticize. But I do think it's important to remember that we have the power to make an incredibly interesting story with the plot that's been handed to us. Because perception is what shapes reality. So why not make it a beautiful one? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next Tuesday, take care guys, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.